So let's see. So category is. I'm going to click submit. Let's see if this works. Control over personal information. There you go. It worked. Awesome. On my first attempt, even. Okay. Let's let's test this out with a few different reasons. So we know this one is because it says I'm tired of the constant privacy violations and shady data practices. That one does fit into the control over personal information. So that is correct. Um, let's. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to use a different random one. Um, I'm worried about the potential for cyberbullying and online harassment. Let's put that one in over there. Okay. And we know as a human, this should probably fall under um, mental health and well being. Maybe other, but let's check. But I think mental health and well being. Yep, there you go. Categories, mental health, and well-being. Okay, cool. So this seems to to be pretty accurate. Let's do one more test. I don't want to see any more fake news and conspiracy theories. Okay, so let's put that in the reason. Category is submit. Issues with the platform. Correct. Awesome. Okay. So this, this prompt is working correct. So we only need to, this over here and this over here are our two dynamic parts. So I'm going to copy paste this, control C, and I'm going to create a notepad file. Notepad, um, actually let me go do it like this. I'm going to come to the project folder. I'm going to go to project. I'm going to open the folder like, like so. And then over here, I'm going to create a new text document and I'm going to call it prompt dot txt and then in here I'm going to paste in the prompt and what I'm going to do I'm also, let me just delete all this space I don't know why there's so much space there um, just like so and then over here where it says Kansas, I'm going to replace this with braces and a zero. And I'm going to replace the reason over here with braces and a one. So this is the first index position and this is the second index position. And I'll show you where that's going to come in handy now. I'm going to click save. So now we have our prompt. I'm going to close this back to studio. And we are now, we need to read in that text file. So I'm going to go to activities and I'm going to search for text um, read text file that could work um, yeah that looks good enough read text file okay and the file name we're referencing I'm going to click this folder project and I'll select our prompt.txt then in the properties panel I'm going to output this to a string variable so I'm going to click control K and I'm going to say um actually yeah i'll just call it prompt so i don't think we have a prompt variable in this project no we don't there it is so i just created it now cool so we have our prompt now the next thing we need to do is we, we need to add values into that position zero and one so you can use the format method for that so we can say um we can we can say like this, let me, let me just test it over here. I'm going to use a new assign. I'll create a new variable called completed or populated prompt. And then on the right hand side, we're going to use the, I'm going to click this at open advanced editor. I'm going to write string dot format, open bracket, close brackets in these brackets. And then I'm going to select our prompt. And then in the first index, we want to put our um, state and the second index, we want to put our reason. So I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to, I'm going to copy this assign um, into our use over here. So for each row, so let me come back here. The current row and then specifically the state so that's the first index position 
um, and then a comma and then current row again and then the second index position for the reason and I'll press OK. So what this expression here is doing is it's putting the state into the zeroth index and the reason into the one index. Remember we're referencing the column name state and reason and it's putting it into our prompt into position zero over here and reason one over here. So I want to close this. Okay. And this should be fine. So populate a prompt. Let's test this out. I'm just going to use a message box. And I'm going to put populated prompt in the message box. And let's run this. Okay, oh, I'm getting an error. Um, Excel appears to be busy. It's because Excel's open. Let me close that. Do I need to save this? No, I don't. I'll just close that. Let me run this again. There you go. So here's our prompt. Facebook user is living in Kansas. There's the reason. I'm tired of the constant privacy violations. Cool, I'll press OK. Let's see the next one who's living in Florida. That's the reason I want to focus on real life relationships and spend less time on social media. Cool. I'll press OK. Awesome. So that's working fine. I'm going to click stop. And now the next step is we can now use our chat GPT activity, right? I'm going to drag and drop that into our loop. Okay. And what I'm also going to do is because this is a for each row. Also, you know, before I do that, I'm just going to control Z. I'm just going to use a break activity. I'm going to use a break. And I'm just going to test. This should exit the loop after the first after the first run. So that it's not running all of them, it's just running the first one. Okay, there you go should end now. There you go. Cool. So that's what the break activity does. It just exits the loop after the first run. Okay. So we've done that. Now we can, um, we want to, we want to add the output of our chat GPT because this chat GPT is going to come over here, right? The output is the answer. So we want to output the answer back into the Excel spreadsheet. So we can go to Excel and we want to use some kind of right cell activity, right cell. Let's drag that in over there. So what to write, we want to write the answer and where to write it. We want to write it in the current cell or the current row that it's referencing. Um, so it's giving us the option to indicate it in Excel. Let's go first edit that Excel document. Where is it? It's actually currently on my desktop. So I'm just going to move this into the, the project folder and cut this and paste it into our project folder so that we can reference it directly. Can't be copied because the file is open in Excel. No, it's not. Oh no, what should I do now? I'm just copy. And then paste. There you go, deleted Facebook users. I'm going to have to just come back up here and change this file path to this one. Okay. And then now that we're referencing this one, let's go and add in a new fault, new row. So I'm going to call this category. Re or maybe reason category. Reason category. Okay, there's one or four categories. I'm going to save that. I'm going to close this back here. Where to write it? I'm going to click this current row. And then there should be a reason category. There it is. Cool. So that should write the output. And 
then it should exit out. In the properties, the in prompt is going to be our populated prompt. So I'm going to change this default value we had and put our populated prompt. And the output of this chat GPT is going to be our answer variable. And then that answer is going to then get written to the Excel cell. So let's see, that looks good. Um, delete this comment out. Let's run this and then we can go view our Excel sheet and see if it populates the first row with the correct answer. Okay, what's it telling us? Could not open the specified workbook. Make sure there's no other workbook with the same name already opened. Um, that's annoying. Okay, this is very strange. Um, it shouldn't give us that error. Um, I'm going to maybe I'll just rename it my deleted Facebook users and I'll come to my project over here and I'll call this my deleted Facebook users maybe with a unique name it will solve the problem let's run this oh there you go that seemed to work there's our prompt. Okay, so the reason is I'm tired of the content privacy violations. Now, the output should give us um, three control over personal information. So I'll wait for this to finish running. Yep, looks like it worked because you switch in the output control over personal information. Let's go see the output, not that one. We want to see the output from our, in our project. And there we have it, control over personal information. So it got the category um, correct. So now what we can do is I can run this for everything.